Hi, it's Tanya Soule, Realtor with Chase International in Incline Village, Nevada, Lake Tahoe. Um, I am working from home today, as many of you are. So is Candace Meyer of IPX 1031 Exchange. And um, she is here today to help us learn a little bit about these extensions you may have heard uh, coming through down to the IRS. So uh, several things are changing, and one of them affects uh, the 1031 exchanges in real estate. So Candace, if you would take it away and let us know what's new. Awesome, nice to be with you again, Tanya. Thank you. Okay, so um, in a nutshell, the federal government has given extensions to those involved in a 1031 exchange. And so right now, the way it stands is if your 45 day or 180 day time frame falls between April 1st and July 15th, you've been given an extension and that extension ends on July 15th. So it's actually a nice extension. The, um, let's say I was an exchanger and I'm in my 45 day window. What does that mean? Well, it means I've closed my relinquished property and I'm waiting to identify what it is I'm gonna buy. And so that window has been extended from the close of escrow date until July 15th, which is a great extension. Likewise, if you're in your 180 day extension, um, the government has given us um, until July 15th. So I had an example today of a gentleman whose 180th day ends on the 29th of this month. He needed more time and now he has more time. He's got until July 15th to get his uh, replacement property closed. So this was a really nice extension they gave us. Um, we are still knocking on their door, looking for more. And we haven't given up because we, we'd like to get the usual extension that we have been granted in the past. Um, but uh, that's not clear right now. So right now what we do have is an extension. If your timeframes fall between April 1st and July 15th, and you're doing a 1031 exchange, you have an extension through July 15th. Okay, great, thank you. And uh, one of the reasons for the extension is it's a little bit difficult or um, we're difficult and we are looking at property in an unusual way right now. It's not that's as easy right. to go through and identify those properties because uh, you're not just cruising through houses anymore quite the way you used to when you went by. So um, one of the things we're doing right now as realtors is offering virtual tours. Many of us are. So um, if you would like to see a tour virt virtually and you are ready to go, um, go ahead and give me a call and we will walk through a property together through FaceTime or Zoom or whatever app you have that works well for you. Uh, we'll get that done for you and zoom in on whatever you need to do and, and uh, answer your questions that way. So. Awesome. Yeah, that's been really helpful because I do have a number of clients in the middle of their 1031 and they've been grounded, you know, they're <laughs> grounded in another state. They're, you know, been told to stay home just like we have been told in Nevada to stay home. And so, uh, you know, they haven't been able to look at properties. In addition, your tenant occupied properties are, um, you know, there's been a forbidding for, I mean, we're actually forbidden to show a tenant occupied property. So that makes your virtual tour and your virtual, you know, taking pictures and walking through with Zoom or letting the client or the tenant do that is going to be very helpful. Yes. Yeah. It was because we want to make sure everyone is limited on exposure. So, um, but this is how we still get business done during this time. So there is a way to get it done and extensions have been granted. And um, thank you so much, Candace. I really appreciate you. You're welcome. Great being with you. Thank you. If you have any questions about real estate here in Incline Village, go ahead and give me a call or shoot me a text or email. My information is down below. And if you have questions about 1031 exchanges, Candace Meyer is your gal. Uh, her information is also down below. Thank you so much. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.